Hey guys, it's Christian. It's Friday, so you know what that means. Time for another lab. But today we're not labbing in EVE. You don't know that I usually do that, but from time to time I also like to check some hardware devices. So, uh, yeah, in my working environment I often have these EX2200s that I get relatively cheap on eBay, but they are quite loud. I could technically use the C version, which is passive cooled, but usually the 2200s just have more ports and I, I can't use a 12 port switch. I need at least 20 ports. So I just purchased another one of these EX2200s and in this video I'm going to show you how to make them silent. That's right, we're exchanging the fans with these bodies and uh, yeah, let's get going. So as you can see we have this 2200 here and I'm gonna power it on so you know exactly what I mean. This is standing next to my desk so it should be as quiet as possible. So let's see. Yeah, I don't like that. That's too loud. I mean that's that's just from the booting. So as you can hear it will get a little bit quieter but it's still relatively loud. Let me check on my app. Um, there it is. Let's measure from here. There you can see it's roughly 50 decibel if I'm right in front of it. So that's what we're gonna measure against and uh, yeah I've purchased this uh, Noctowl things on eBay, they are relatively cheap. These were like yeah, 12 euros a pack and they come with a nice package. I will completely destroy it but that's, that's a different story and uh, yeah we have two fans inside this EX2200 and uh, yeah let's see where they are and how to exchange them. In the first step we're getting rid of this rack mount kit because these are four screws that will just block my way. And as you can see there are some yeah tiny screws that we have to loosen so that we can look into the device. So as far as I can see I have three, maybe one is covered, maybe four of them. Um, these ones on the top also, one, two, three, four. And here we have the same, so three, four, maybe five, so let's see. Just be careful not to break anything. There we go. Okay. All right. So we can see down here that there was another screw hidden that we now need to fix. Now let's see, we need a relatively small screwdriver for that. Let's see if this one works. Yeah, it works. Okay. So, and these are all the same screws, so I don't need to sort any of them. Yeah, you need a relatively fine screwdriver for that. So, um, that's why I bought a whole set of them, because you never know. Um, I think I also need the top ones. Now, theoretically, we will now be able to open this thing. Now, one word of caution um, with the power supply. Usually there are a lot of capacitors in there. And they can shock you even when that thing is unplugged. So, be, I don't take any responsibility when you do this. Be freaking careful. Don't mess with the power supply. Try to avoid it. Alright, there we go. Beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful dirty. 
Okay. Yeah. And uh, I will do that with my mobile cam really quick. This is what I mean. Just, guys, just be careful what you touch. What we want to change are these two fans here. These are the ones making all the noise. We don't want to touch anything else. Just these two. We don't want to touch the power supply. Just the fan. So here are the screws that we need to loosen up. And then we can plug the fans out. Let's have a look at these babies. They always fa fans and such stuff. It, it comes with such a nice packaging. I mean, these folks know that you're gonna rip it apart, so but but they still they care so much for that thing. So I'm not going to completely rip it. Just a bit. Manual, we don't need no manual. So, as you can see here, we have the fan, we have the these uh, yeah, silicon screws that we can use, and we have all the connectors that we need. So, let's have a look at it. So, we have these Noctuas here. Let's put that away. So, and uh, you can see we have the fan here. We have these yeah, silicon bolts that we can use and we also have some connectors in case one of them is not the one you need. But I think we can use the one that's attached to it out of the box. If I see this correctly, it's just a matter of the color and we don't care for colors. So it's even the pin header. It looks like the same from the colors. That's that's one thing why I love Juniper. Open standards. They don't do such Cisco proprietary crap. Let's have a look. Uh, da, 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 da. We need this one. Trusty old 3.0. Now I want to zoom here, so that you guys can see what I'm doing. So, this is where we are. So, what we're going to do is we need to lift this pin here very, very gently so that we can pull the cable out. If you lift it too much, it will break and you will have a problem. So only lift it a little bit, then slide it back and forth, and then usually the fan gets out. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. There we go. Right. As you can see, I already bent it. Not good. A little bit back. There we go. Whew! That was a close one. Let's do... Let's put some Noctuas in first. Oh, wow. Look at this Noctua compared to the new one. Can you see it? Let me do it like this. It's... It's smaller. It's a lot smaller. Don't know if you can see it, but that's a that that's a lot. Like this. And guys, what you also want to check? Let me do it a little bit like this. Yeah. What you also want to check is the direction in which the 
the air blows so when I look at that it looks like it's front in that's exactly what we want so let's put our Noctua in here we can see I will do that with the with the other camera again both of them side by side you can see that all the holes are in place and in case you're wondering well that Noctua is uh, yeah you did that wrong? No, I didn't, because I don't want to yeah, re-cable everything, so I don't care that the sticker is inversed. So, yeah, looks good, right? Let's have a look at these things. Yeah, so, extreme flexible. Let's have a look at it compared to the screw. Yeah, that's a lot a lot so <laughs> how is this done my bet would be that it is like Yeah, I bet it is like this. I can almost smell it's gonna be like this. But just to make sure, I can't believe I'm looking in the manual. <laughs> Not sure if this will work. If we can use these, which I don't think we can. Well, let's see. I can't believe that actually works. Let me reposition the camera really quick. So, uh, now I have to put them through here. Oh wow, that's tight. That is tight. But, Oh my it worked. One FG. <sighs> but not completely. Oh yeah. All right. Yeah, they they always think about oh those poor PC guys, who thinks about the network industry. Nobody cares, right? It's such a shame. I mean, why would you quietly mod a PC these days? There's absolutely no reason for it. Who has a PC these days, by the way? And if you have, why are you still using a PC? Why not a laptop? I guess we'll never know. Hmm. Oh man. Oh, this will be so much fun putting that into <laughs> punching that through the holes at the bottom oh no 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 all right so okay looks good and guys, be careful not to cut yourself because these edges right here, they are they are extremely sharp. So, as you can see, it's in place. It's tight. Works. The thing is, if you would put 
the screws in again the vibration would create some additional noise that we want to avoid so that is the reason why we want to do it this way and you see they are so flexible because I I literally effed up but no one will ever know because and these things are so flexible I can just cheat okay done and this looks like I have some sort of spiky switch Where's my... There it is. Ah. You move a bit. Don't touch the power supply. Because I want to make videos in the future. I don't want to die today. Oh, come on you want to become a part of this awesome switch yeah there we go oh no now the other ah uh, god damn it I hate those things god damn it yeah you lost damn switch oh, damn fan it's not the switch's fault If you twist that a bit, that usually works. <coughs> All right, also in not moving a bit, secure. Great, but now these things we have to cut them just a little bit. Now you want to make sure not to cut them too much because if you do that they will fall out and that's not good <coughs> so what you want to do is you want a little bit of those still sticking out you only want to cut the rest of it so take your time Okay, ah, made it. So, that was that. First one in. Let's see what we do with this little guy here. So, yellow, red, black. Control, control, yeah, that's exactly the same pin. That is amazing. I don't have to do any janky shit. That was that was really easy. But the cable is a bit long, so but I don't care. I don't mind. I will do something later. So now let's get the second one out. So it's the same. Lift it. Lift it a bit up. Then just back and forth until it's out and I almost crashed the switch almost almost so where do I have the second one right here Let's try number two so number one is, is done 
Okay. You know, some years ago, they they would have put in a nice sticker that you can put on top of your box. But unfortunately, they don't do that anymore. So I can't show it. It's a shame. No one will ever know that there is a Noctua inside it. So because I don't want to do that again, I will put these silicon screws in before putting the fan into the switch. So that's the same. Let's do it like So the same here. Okay. In. See? It's in now. Let's do that with the others as well. <laughs> there we go, see? Longer ones are on the back, the shorter ones are on the front. So now we again want to check where to put the cable and I think this time I am well, I'm still doing the same just backwards so now we want to cut the things that are too long Two, three or I just use a wire cutter for that so now we have enough of the silicon to cover the fan but it will not stick out so now we can put it in place let's change the camera all right okay so getting that in will be a bit more tricky because you don't have much room at that point. Okay, one is in. Come on, second one. Yep, they lost. It's in. So now this one goes in. There we go. And obviously you can't feel it, but I can. Again, the metal is very sharp, so be careful not to cut yourself. I'll just twist it a bit. until it's completely in place. Okay. Let's see if I can show that a bit better. Maybe this works. Yeah, I think this will work. Can I go a little bit more? Yep. Okay. Yep. And it will change color, don't worry just because you're stretching it. Now you don't want to stretch it too much because that will guarantee that it will be torn apart. 
and unfortunately there is no backup of these things inside the package so every mistake will be your last one I personally don't mind that these things are sticking out at the back so now we are putting the second cable in place and then we are ready to close this thing okay so we don't need the old ones anymore but I will keep them just in case just in case I screwed up I don't want to say it loud but it happens so we don't need the old screws anymore we need some of these tiny screws so maybe I will do a similar thing in the future but let's see and we actually do have a problem because there is no room there they are there's no room for my silicon screws ah damn it that's not good that's not good so I need to cut a bit of it but not all of it Oh, this will be this will be fun now honestly I'm not sure that this will work I don't know it I'm just gonna test it I still have the other screws so if I screw up what play I can still use the other ones I don't think that this will work but let's see uh, maybe we can push it a bit maybe we are able to close it so let's see and in fact we are absolutely not able to do this without force and let's use something for the tiny screws yeah I just need to get one or two in in the front and then we're good to go let's push it a little bit and before anyone's asking can you do that in production no this is a lap switch of course I would never temper with it in production This is just my trusty old lamp switch, so that's okay. Yeah, and now that I have one in, all the others fit just fine. Let's see if it stays this way, and let's see if the fans stay in. And they still work, and they still cool. That's a whole different story. The chassis environment is telling me after let's say half an hour of running constantly and running a lot of traffic through it that it's still fine I'm fine with it as well before that nope. so let's put all the screws on the back in damn it I feared that something like this might have oh no it works Ah, got it in. Damn. I'll be damned. It actually works. Well, shout outs to the guy who invented the 2200 from the hardware perspective. Did a great job. Was there one in there? I guess there was one in. Okay. I can almost 
feel it. It's not liking it, but it fits. Screws are in and hope you can see this. I had to do some tricks, but it seems to work. And from the bottom, yeah, I mean, there is, as you can see, it, 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 it bends a little bit. But I am completely fine with that. Maybe I do the modding of the case in the future. Haters gonna hate. Uh, damn it. I think there was one. Uh, yep, fits. Yeah, yeah, come on out. Okay. You can't fit in there because, because of reasons. That's actually not that bad. I mean, it's, it's a bit bendy, but I don't care. I really don't care. So. I keep doing that. <sighs> Not a single scratch, no one will kill me. Okay, so there we go. The X2200 with the modded fans. Let's take it for a spin. So we've modded the 2200 and uh, let's take it for a spin, shall we? Now, this right here is my home productive rack home productive because if I screwed something up and the whole power goes down my wife will kill me because she's streaming right now and uh, yeah wish me luck Ooh. Wow, it's booting, you can hear nothing. My breathing is actually louder. Yeah, the, the, the sound from my rack is too loud, so you can't hear it. Is it working? Holy shit, it's working! And there you go, it wasn't so hard, right? So we successfully installed the two new fans into our EX and now we have a silent or a little bit more silent lab again. I hope you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Next time I'm probably gonna do another Eve video, but uh, yeah, I also might do some some interesting stuff with the old SRXs that you can see in the back here. So yeah, see you soon.